Hello and welcome to eMultiSkills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn what is logical replication in PostgreSQL and uh, following that, we will see a demo on uh, logical replication. So what is a logical replication in PostgreSQL? So logical replication is uh, one of the way of replicating the data and its associated change uh, from one database to another database or or the databases may be on on same host or different hosts so we are talking about the tables where in the individual role is uh, actually identified using the the primary key so any changes which is happening on to the uh, the table will be replicated from one database to another database so when we talk about logical replication, it is uh, entirely different from what we call as the physical replication, where in bit to bit uh, uh, the data is same on two different hosts. But when we say about logical replication, you can control what, what data has to be replicated from one database to another in PostgreSQL. So you have uh, a control over, you have a fine uh, grained control over the data which has to be re uh, replicated and uh, and you you have a good control so in postgresql when we talk about the logical replication we talk about two terms one is the subscriber and another is the publisher so the one where uh, the application connects in the particular database uh, uh, that that particular node is known as the publisher node and uh, wherever the uh, logical replication is replicating the data that is known as the subscriber so publisher is the one where in the changes are actually happening and subscriber is the one which is accepting those changes. So when we uh, when we set up the logical replication, uh, the uh, we set up two. Let's say we set up two uh, different hosts and uh, we have two different instances. We have two databases. So what happens initially? Uh, we have to replicate the data from uh, from publisher to subscriber so the initial data is same once the initial data is same then using the postgre logical replication whatever changes are happening on the uh, the publisher will be uh, will be automatically subscribed by the subscriber so it is like uh, changes are happening on the publisher and uh, the subscriber gets them uh, on to the, uh, the subscriber server or the host. And it is all happening in the real time. The way the changes are happened on to the, uh, to the publisher, the same way it is applied on the subscriber. So there is always a transactional consistency. Let's see some of the use cases of Postgre uh, logical replication. So what we can do is uh, we can uh, send the incremental changes in a particular database or n number of databases from the publisher to the subscriber. Or what we can do is the, uh, there may be some kind of data, data warehouse uh, kind of thing where in uh, uh, the consolidation from multiple databases go into a single database or what we can do is we can replicate the changes between different uh, major versions or it is possible that I have a PostgreSQL instance which is running on Linux and another in in um, Windows, so I can replicate uh, the uh, the data from uh, uh, Win uh, Linux to Windows, and whatever changes are happening, subsequent changes are happening that one can be replicated on different hosts. Or there may be a case wherein we can share a subset of database between multiple databases. Let's say there is a table which is existing on a database A and it can be uh, sent to different database, like let's say database B, C, D, and E. It is not like you send the entire uh, content of the database. Let's say a few tables uh, can, be, can be subscribed by those databases. So that's a good uh, use of logical replication. So a little bit more about the 
publication and the uh, the subscription so as as we discussed earlier as well so the publisher node or the publication node is the one where in the application connects the changes are happening over there and from the publication node the changes go to the subscriber the one which accepts those changes in the downstream so publisher is the one where an application is going to uh, to connect uh, uh, there will be a table there will be some primary key and uh, the changes from uh, uh, from publication is is uh, replicated to the subscriber using the uh, the uh, using the logical replication so there are some kind of restrictions on also here when we use uh, logical uh, replication uh, so any kind of DDL changes which are happening on to the publisher, they will not be replicated to the subscriber. In that case, you whatever uh, DDLs are running on to the uh, the publisher, that has to be manually applied on to the uh, subscriber. Or using the PG dump uh, structure only, you can move the those commands to the subscriber. And uh, the sequence data, uh, this is, I think, uh, applicable uh, mostly in such kind of uh, uh, replications. So sequence data is not replicated from, uh, uh, from uh, publisher to the subscriber. If you are uh, running the truncate command, the, the truncate command is not actually replicated on to the uh, subscriber. So instead, you can use the delete command if it is possible. Large objects uh, replication is uh, not allowed or it is not possible. Maybe in the future uh, uh, versions it will be possible. And replication is only possible from base table to base table. That means if you wanted to replicate the views, metalized views or partition root tables or the foreign tables, those are not possible. Uh, let's see the demo on logical replication which is hosted on two node. So let me close this and uh, we'll see the demo. So uh, the demo is like this. I have two nodes, so 192, 168, 1.51, another is 61. So PostgreSQL 12 is already installed and uh, the first node will be acting as the publisher and the second node will be acting as the subscriber. So on to the first node, what we are going to do is we are going to configure it for the logical replication. So what we will do is in PostgreSQL.conf, we will replace localhost with the IP address of that particular node, which is 192. 168.1.51 then wall level uh, will be changed to the logical uh, and uh, then uh, we will allow uh, the request from the second node uh, 61 so we will in the in the publisher node what will we do is uh, pg underscore hba.conf we will add the ip address of the subscriber uh, server so let's start that uh, this is my publisher server, so let's check the status, pseudo system CTL status PostgreSQL 12. Oh, it is starting. Let's say check the status. It is running. And the second step is what we will do is uh, we will add it the PostgreSQL.conf and we will make the changes. The changes is local host has to be replaced by the IP address of that server and because we have to connect it from remotely as well. So I'll be changing the uh, local host to the IP address of the server. The IP address of this server is let me copy and paste the IP address. IP address is 192.168.1.51. So local host entry has been replaced by this and then we will go further to uh, well so well level has to be changed to uh, to logical so let's change it from replica to logical so it is going to capture all the changes which are happening on to the uh, publisher database and these are the only two changes uh, we are doing a uh, basic logical replication uh, this is done then what we will do is uh, we will add it pg underscore hba.conf so this will uh, make sure that uh, the uh, the connection from a subscriber server is allowed so we will go to the section ipb4 uh, 
local connections and we will add the entry so the entry will be host all databases all users from 192.168.1.61 uh, using the password method can can connect so we have to tell the uh, the uh, subscribe uh, publisher that this is going to ha happen and you need to allow if there is a connection request from the uh, subscriber server this is done now the next step is you will have to uh, restart it because we have made some changes uh, let's let's restart uh, let's create the database user and the table so we will create a database with the name create database wrap db onto the, the source which is my publisher so you can see that database is created next uh, switch to the uh, database and what we will do is we will create a table wrap table which will have uh, the ID name and price. Let's create this. This is created. And uh, then we will create a rule wrap user with replication and login password is secret underscore password. You can keep uh, any other password. This is a demo, so that's why we are doing this. We can see that wrap user uh, is created. Then let's grant all privileges on database to that particular user. This is done. Next, on public schema also we are giving it, although this is not the right way, but uh, this is a demo, so we are doing this. Okay, so once it is done, you go to uh, the second node and we have to create the structure of the uh, database uh, we have to create the empty table and then we will start the application okay um this is my uh, subscriber server so we'll we'll say uh, create database wrap db this is done uh, then we will switch to wrap db database wrap db database is created then we we have to create the table the structure of the table has to be created first because ddls are not allowed they will not be replicated then what we will do is for we will set up the replication okay to set up the replication we have to execute create replication on on uh, source database server so this is my source database server so we will say uh, create replication my replication so this is done then you uh, you have to add the table to that particular uh, um, publication so we are saying alter publication publication name and the table name this is also done now we will have to create the subscription to create the subscription uh, we have to fire this complete command and this has everything whatever we have done onto the source i'll explain what is this so we'll say create uh, wrap the subscription and uh, subscription name connection host is 192.168.1.51 where my uh, publisher is running then port is 5432 this is the default one password is secret underscore password which we have given user is wrap user db name is wrap db and publication name we are giving here is my uh, publication that we had mentioned okay it is not uh, accepting so let me restart this uh, system CTL restart okay let me restart it because I made some changes and I have not uh, restarted it let me see the status yeah, it is back and let me try the replication uh, creating the my subscription again Okay, you can see that create replication uh, slot my subscription on this is done. Now we will test the replication. Okay, the table name is uh, uh, 
wrap underscore table so let's say select a star from wrap table you can see there is no row on to the target uh, that is my uh, subscriber on the publisher also we will check it and there shouldn't be anything because there is okay let's switch to uh, wrap db and then we will say select a star from okay there's nothing let's insert one row we'll say insert into wrap table and the first one is ice cream let's insert this on the publisher it has inserted let's check the status on here also in in publisher because we have inserted it on the subscriber for the same command that data should be replicated you can see the data is replicated let's add let's add one more row on to the uh, publisher and uh, if you simply say select a star from wrap table there are two rows on to a publisher then there should be same on on subscriber also you can see that it is it is getting replicated so just a recap of what we have done is uh, we have two servers so one is a publisher and the, the other is uh, acting as the subscriber so we have uh, on the publisher we have changed the sun address to the ip address of that particular host wall level has been changed to the logical so that it can uh, capture all the changes in uh, wall and uh, uh, pg underscore hba.conf we have added the ip address of the subscriber so that uh, incoming connections are allowed then we have created a database a user and the table and uh, then we created a publication then we added the table to that particular publication and on the subscription side what we did is we said create subscription subscription name and in connections we have mentioned everything uh, the publisher host, uh, publisher port number, password, user, uh, database name, and uh, then we tested the replication and it was working fine. So I hope it is going to help in, in setting up uh, the replication and uh, see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching.